Hi everyone, my name's Andy Carley from School Outdoor Learning. Welcome to Soul Interactive. This is the second of our activity films that we've put together for you. And uh, we've decided because it's uh, the Easter holidays, we're gonna focus primarily on team building and collaborative type tasks rather than curriculum based activities and exercises. So hope you find this second one really useful, really beneficial, and more importantly, loads of fun to do. So the exercise we're gonna share with you today is, uh, well, we call it Tower of Babel, but it's sometimes referred to as uh, Tower of Hanoi or the Lucas Tower. Uh, named after the French math mathematician uh, Edouard Lucas, who uh, uh, devised the puzzle and popularized it in around about 1883. Um, we, we love this exercise because of its simplicity, but also it, gen it, it generates loads and loads of challenge as well. Um, and also it's hugely versatile because it can be done as a tabletop exercise, just using very simple equipment, or you can scale it up, as I'll show you in a little bit, for as a team building exercise uh, and a communication exercise as well. So loads and loads of scope to play with this uh, and do all sorts of things with it. So the exercise works brilliantly because uh, all you need is five objects. Uh, well, I say five objects because it can be done with any number of objects, but typically uh, the, the, the high degree of challenge just uses five. So here we've got five cones, uh, just numbered one to five, uh, but you could, in creating a kind of tower pyramid formation, just use five books of uh, different sizes as well. So quick demonstration of how the task works. You have five puzzle items, three stations. The puzzle items are numbered five at the top, one at the bottom in sequence order, and they begin at station one. The objective is to replicate that order at either station two or station three. Sounds pretty simple. Uh, the rules, however, are make it a little bit more difficult. So there are some constraints. So you can only ever have higher numbers on top of lower numbers. So as an example, object number five, we could move to station three. Object number four could then go to vacant station two. Then five can go on top of four, and then we can move the three out, which could then go to station three. Then what happens potentially is that station five continues to move, so that could go back to its starting point, and then you can put four on top of three, five on top of four, and then you can get the two out. You get the idea. So what I'm gonna share with you now is the means to be able to scale this up, uh, to turn it from a tabletop puzzle exercise into a team building exercise. And essentially the principles remain exactly the same. All we've done is we've made everything bigger. The puzzle items, the stations themselves, and then we've actually put the working area uh, into uh, a space bounded by a large rope as well. So you have a, an entry point and an exit point into, into the space. I've included these shots just, just to show that uh, anything is, that's stackable is usable, essentially, and uh, tyres often prove to be a really popular option as well, uh, as do crates. So I should just point out that I'm normally used to being on this side of the camera and not necessarily uh, taking part or doing the exercises themselves. Um, but uh, given that we've got the constraints of working in my garden here, I'm going to do a demonstration for you and show you how the puzzle works using these boxes. Wish me luck. Blimey. So there you have it, Tower of Babel in a nutshell. Hope you have loads of fun with it, adapt it, flex it to suit your needs, your children and your working areas. So it's the Easter weekend this weekend, so we're going to be releasing two films for you, one on Saturday and one on Sunday. So please look out for those. Please subscribe to the channel. 
please share the activities with as many people as you want to. That would be great. And if you click on the bell icon, then you will receive regular notifications every time a new film is released. See you next time, everybody. Bye-bye.